Welcome to the Air Power Airwaves, the Air Power Manufacturing Solutions podcast series where we talk about manufacturing issues that impact you. Hello there, and thank you for joining us for this Air Power Live special feature. We are in the Air Power Airwaves podcast studio, and today I'm joined by this guy up here. This is the first time that we've linked our cameras here with our anywhere outside of here, and we're linking with James in the Tool Lab. So I'm going to turn my attention over here. James, how are you? Good. How are you, Travis? I'm doing great. Uh, for the first time, we're actually linking into somebody from the uh, the new Air Power Airwaves podcast studio. So you're you're the first one to get linked in on our television. That's pretty cool. I, I hope yeah. you're doing good down there in the task lab. Uh, doing great down here. I know I was there recently, and we had we. Just, didn't stumble on it, but we discovered the the Presto lift down there, and I see you're standing in front of it. And you and I got to talking, and I, I you know, we were talking about the podcast suite. We were talking about the, the different things we wanted to feature, and voila, right in the middle of the room, right where we needed it. There so we go. Our crew set up the camera down there, and why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Just start off with. You know, who we get that from, what the brand is, and, and just let's start there. Sounds good. Uh, so, so it's a Presto le- load leveler. Uh, load leveler. Uh, we get those from Southern Market Share, a great partner of ours. Uh, Presto has been around for, for quite a while, uh, really common out in the field, uh, used for a ton of different things. Well, I mean, I'm assuming that it's primarily used for lifting heavy objects but i mean so we see the pallet in front of it this is a like a third of a pallet i guess or half a pallet but that's exactly. just showing you the the length on it, how it sits but how does this machine oh i just saw you swivel that i did so the base stay when you're swiveling the top stay, okay walk, walk us through how it works i mean is it, it what connections do you need is it air so it, it, this one is pneumatic based, there are spring and pneumatic. Uh, so the really cool part about this one is when you think about air, a lot of times you think about you have to have plumbed air to a device. This one, you just charge up the tank, you adjust it to your load and, and you're done. So you mentioned something about load leveling. Correct. Does that mean as things are added on or taken off, you can actually set that to what the level that you want it? That's exactly what it means. Basically, if you, if you drop a, a pallet of full product on here, as you take product off of that pallet, it will rise to meet you okay. so that you work at the same height all the time. Very cool. Same way if you put a, an empty pallet on there and you have to load product onto that pallet, it will, it will lower and keep you at that same height at, at all times. Now, what's our, uh, what's, what's our weight limits on this? So weight limits on this device, uh, you can run between 400 pounds and 4,500 pounds. So that would be another unit, maybe a more bulkier unit that goes to 4,500? So, so correct. This unit is uh, a 2,500 pound unit, and, and it handles that with, with ease. We've seen it time and time again. Are they, uh, is there any customizing that's done? I know, I know the, you just showed it, show it again, the, the spinning. So it's got a rotating top on ball bearings. So I mean for an operator that's got a fixed position on a line and they're trying to move things on or off, like they might be coming to them down a conveyor belt, they're able Correct. to lift and they don't even have to lift, they just simply move it across. That's correct. And it might even be where we provided them assisted lifting devices to go from uh, the, the actual conveyor line over to that. That is correct. Yeah. So you could use a, a, any kind of uh, end effector on a balancer or a hoist or any kind of device to get to or from this uh, load leveler. That's fantastic. So you, but you could actually set that to where the products that are coming off the conveyor are the, at the exact level 
of the bottom of the pallet, on the top of the pallet. That's exactly right. You could right. you could stay right here all day. And you know, healthy workforce is a productive workforce. A productive workforce could be a financially positive. Thing. That's exactly right. So we, I think everybody tries to aim for that. Uh, who was our, I know, you know, we talk a lot about vendor partners and air power. Who was our vendor partner with the Presto? So this is Southern Market Share. That's who we get okay. uh, Presto through. Um, locally, our, our representative is uh, Tom Gandhi. Great guy. Uh, he, he loves to get out in the field and come see customers. So uh, we'd love to get him out and, and come out and see you today. Yep. So uh, I know that we have a lot of these in the field. Don't really. Uh, give us an example of how this is like does a company buy one or two of these or do we have companies that have pulled in multiples we have companies that buy you know they'll buy a couple depending on what their line requirements are uh, we've had customers who buy 20 to 30 of them because they've got them at the end of every one of their lines um, there are like I said there's a couple different configurations so you have this one's a pneumatic um, with with that type of leveling, uh, you have the spring. There are tilt tables. There's all kinds of configurations. Uh, they can even get a little custom with the way the tops are made, depending on what your product is like. Uh, we've seen them go, you know, rectangular to match a, a, a pallet size or a pallet configuration. Uh, we've seen them do that. Um, I mean, as well as you know, they're kind of open to a lot of things because we're just dealing with we're just dealing with steel. You can you can get pretty creative that way. Um, as far as how customers have, have done it in the past, like I said, it, it sky's the limit because really what you're dealing with is the product that the customer has. And, uh, and that's why we love to come out and see different applications and see how we can address those, those applications with this device. Fantastic. I, I know that you are, you are a technical specialist within the uh, assemble and move to, you know, division of air power. I know the account managers rely on you a great deal. Uh, tell us a little bit about the technical the technical aspect of your job and what uh, you know how, how you how you handle your what's your day to day what's your day to day job look like down there at the task lab. So day to day, usually what I, I help. Uh, so I, I'd say that I'm technical internally and externally. So internally. With the air power, uh, I help out our account managers and our uh, specialists, so our application specialists. So help help those people out uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, just providing you know technical as as a technical re resource. Um, externally to the customers, I, I provide service when it comes to software. Uh, man, anything as far as you know. Programming tools, uh, getting things on on uh, networks, getting things set up to uh, capture data. Uh, we've we've started jumping into uh, MES systems and those kinds of things. So you know, providing work instructions and uh, workflow for you know for the whole process of, of assembly. Uh, that's pretty much my world. Very cool, James. Thank you very much for joining us on this uh, live link from the Air Power Airways podcast studio. And uh, I'll tell you what, we'll close it out between us right here. And then I'm gonna turn around here and give everybody ways to contact you and uh, if they do help. Sounds good. Thanks, right, Travis. Thanks, James. Thank Have a good day. Bye-bye. James is super knowledgeable, super helpful and uh, can answer a lot of questions um, that can be, uh, can be a challenge uh, for sure. So uh, again, thank you for joining us. Be sure to follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and anything else in social media land. And check out and watch for our latest podcasts. So thank you and have a great day. No, manufacture it a great day.